The quicksort is a divide and conquer algorithm, the essence of which is to repeatedly partition an unordered list. A pivot is selected, in this case the value 5. Then all of the items smaller than the pivot are put on the left hand side, and all of the items larger than the pivot are put on the right hand side. The pivot is then placed in between the two sublists. The sublists on either side of the pivot are still unordered, but the pivot, which is in a sublist of only one item, is now in the right place. The partitioning process can then be repeated with the two unordered sublists on either side of the pivot, which will generate even more sublists. We can continue to repeat the process with any sublists that we generate which contain more than one item, and ultimately we will have only single items which are all in the right place. Let's see how to do this. We have a list. We have a left pointer and a right pointer, and we need to choose a pivot value. The pivot value can be anything in the list, but it might as well be the first value. And now we ask the question, is the value at the right pointer less than the pivot value? In this case, is 8 less than 5? Because the answer is no, we can leave the 8 where it is and simply advance the right-hand pointer. Now we ask the question, is the value at the right-hand pointer less than the pivot value? In this case, is 4 less than 5? And because the answer to this question is yes, we're going to move the 4 to the position given by the left pointer. Because we've just moved something to the left pointer, we can advance the left pointer now. And we ask the question, is the value at the left pointer less than the pivot value? In this case, the answer is yes, 2 is less than 5, so we simply advance the left pointer. And because we've advanced the left pointer, we ask the question, is 7 less than 5? This time the answer is no, so we're going to move the 7 to the right-hand pointer. And because we've just moved something to the right-hand pointer, we're going to advance it. And now we're going to ask the question, is 9 less than 5? The answer to this one is no, so we simply advance the right pointer. And we ask the question, is 1 less than 5? Because the answer to this question is yes, we move the 1 to the left-hand pointer. And because we've just moved something to the left-hand pointer, we advance it. Now we ask, is 6 less than 5? The answer to this question is no. So we're going to move the 6 to the right-hand pointer. And now we advance the right-hand pointer. Something's happened. The pointers have collided. This gives us the position for the pivot value, which can now be slotted into place. So look at what we've got now. We have three sublists. The first sublist contains only one item, the number 5, which is in the correct position. We have a sublist to the left of it which contains all the values smaller than 5, and we have another sublist to the right of it which contains all of the values bigger than 5. So what we're going to do now is repeat the process with the left sublist and the right sublist. Let's start with the left sublist. We need a left and a right pointer, and we choose a pivot value, which we put to one side. And then just as we did before, we ask the question, is 1 less than 4? The answer to this question is yes, so we move the 1. And we advance the left pointer. We ask, is 2 less than 4? The answer to this question is also yes, so we simply advance the left pointer. We now have the correct position for our pivot value, which can be slotted into place. Here we have two sublists. The 4 is in the sublist of its own, and it's in the correct place. And to the left of it, we have another sublist, which is potentially not sorted yet. So, a left and right pointer, choose a pivot value, and ask the question, is 2 less than 1? The answer to this question is of course no, so we simply advance the right pointer, 
and we have our position for the pivot value. The one can be put into place. This means that the left hand side of our original list is now fully sorted and we can focus on the right hand side. So a couple of pointers, choose a pivot value and ask is 8 less than 6? The answer is no, so we'll simply advance the right pointer. Is 7 less than 6? The answer is no, so we simply advance the right pointer. Is 9 less than 6? No again, so we simply advance the right pointer. And where those pointers collide, we know we can put our value 6. The 6 is now where it belongs, and we're left with another sublist that we need to sort. So a couple of pointers, choose a pivot value, and ask, is 8 less than 9? Yes it is, so we're going to move it to the left hand pointer. We advance the left hand pointer, and ask, is 7 less than 9? Yes it is, so we can leave it where it is. Advance the left pointer and the 9 has now found its position. We have one more sublist left to sort. A couple of pointers, choose a pivot. Is 7 less than 8? The answer to this one is of course yes. So we can move the 7 to the position given by the left pointer, advance the left pointer and because they've collided, we now know where the 8 goes. And that's it. We have a fully quick sorted list. To summarise then, the quick sort uses a system of left and right pointers and a pivot value. The pivot value can be chosen at random, but it might as well be the first value in the list. If an item is smaller than the pivot value, we move it into the left-hand sublist. If an item is larger than the pivot value, we move it into the right-hand sublist. As I said before, this is a divide and conquer strategy, so we need to repeat the process with the sublists that we generate. Because it's a divide and conquer strategy, it's very much a recursive algorithm. It lends itself to a recursive implementation. The data is sorted in place. This means that the data is put into the original list that it came from. This makes it particularly space efficient. In fact, it can be incredibly efficient in terms of time, although this does depend on the distribution of the data and our choice of pivot value. Let's see some pseudocode to do this job. You can see I'm assigning the pivot value to be the data given by the left pointer. I have a loop which will run while the left pointer is not equal to the right pointer. In other words, the loop will run until such time as the pointers collide. I'm using a variable to denote which is the current pointer. And you can see here I'm testing it. So if the current pointer is the right pointer, then I'm checking to see if the data given by the right pointer is less than the pivot. If it is, then I take the data from the right pointer and I put it in the position given by the left pointer. And now the left pointer starts advancing and I set it to be the current pointer. If the data at the right pointer isn't less than the pivot, then I simply advance the right pointer. I do this by subtracting 1 from it because I want it to move towards the left pointer. On the other hand, if the current pointer is the left pointer, then I'm checking to see if the data at the left pointer is bigger than the pivot. If it is, then I take the data from the left pointer and put it at the position given by the right pointer, and then the right pointer starts to advance. And I set it to be the current pointer. If the data at the left pointer isn't bigger than the pivot, then I simply increment the left pointer. When the pointers eventually collide, we drop out of the outer loop, and I can simply take the pivot and assign it to the position given by the left pointer, or the right pointer, they're the same. So that's the pseudocode which will partition the list. All I need to do now to turn it into a quick sort is repeat it for every partition which is bigger than one item. There's another way I can do the same thing. Arguably, this is a little bit more elegant. You can see straight away there's less code. 
As before, I assign the data from the left pointer to be the pivot. I also have a loop which will run until such time as the pointers collide. But now here I've got a loop which will run while the data at the right pointer is bigger than the pivot. And of course the pointers haven't collided yet. And all that's happening inside this loop is we're advancing the right pointer. When the data at the right pointer is smaller than the pivot value, then we stop advancing the right pointer and we copy the data from it to the left pointer. And then the left pointer begins to advance. In the same way, if the data at the left pointer is less than the pivot, we just keep advancing the left pointer. Otherwise, we take the data at the left pointer and put it in the position given by the right pointer. When the outer loop ends, we can take the data at the pivot and put it in the position given by the left or the right pointer. Arguably a nicer way to partition the list. To turn it into a quicksort then, we repeat this for each list containing more than one item.